Hello and welcome to Azure Wala YouTube channel. We are in part 85 of Microsoft Certified Associate series. So far we have completed 147 questions in previous videos. Today we are going to look into question number 148. Question 148. You are configuring Azure Active Directory authentication for an Azure storage account named storage1. You need to ensure that the members of group named group1 can upload files by using the Azure portal. The solution must use the principle of least privilege. Which two roles should you configure for storage one. Let's go to documentation side of the learn.microsoft.com to understand the role requirement to read the blob data. We are in documentation side of learn.microsoft.com on assign an Azure role and access to blob data page. Let's scroll down. Azure Active Directory authorizes access rights to secured resources through Azure role based access control. Azure grants access to those resources for the security principle. An Active Directory security principle may be a user, a group, so in our question case it is a group, an application service principle or managed identity for Azure resources. Let's scroll down. Assign an Azure role. To access blob data in Azure portal with Azure Active Directory credentials, user must have the following roles assignment. Let's scroll down. A data access role such as storage blob data reader, it will allow to read the data only. Storage blob data contributor, this role will allow to read, write and delete Azure storage containers and blobs. In our case we would need storage blob data contributor since we are going to upload new files therefore we would need write permission. The Azure resource manager reader role it minimum. Further we would need Azure resource manager reader role as well. The reader role in Azure resource manager role that permits user to view storage account resources but not modify them. It does not provide read permissions to data in Azure storage but only to account management resources. The reader role is necessary so that users can navigate to blob containers in Azure portal since in the question we are going to use the Azure portal therefore we would require the reader role to navigate to the blob containers and our storage blob data contributor role will play the role to upload the files therefore these both roles will work together if we are using the Azure portal. Let's go back to question Therefore, option B, storage blob data contributor role would be needed to read the storage blob data and upload the files. But since we are using the Azure portal, we would need the reader role as well. And reader role is necessary so that user can navigate to blob containers in the Azure portal. Option A storage account contributor is incorrect because it will allow to manage the storage accounts but not to access them. So we can manage the storage account by having this role but we cannot access the data in that storage account. Therefore this is incorrect. The contributor role option D it grants full access to manage all the resources but does not allow to assign roles therefore uh, this uh, permission would be more than we need therefore we will not be using the contributor role option e storage blob data reader this 
option will allow to read and list azure storage containers and blobs but will not allow to upload any file using azure portal therefore this will not be applicable i hope this video was informative for you please hit the like button subscribe to my channel press the bell notification icon thank you for watching this video see you in next video